So this is like one of the most popular snacks that are eaten in Mombasa, especially in the evenings. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Welcome back guys. <laughs> so I'm here right now in Mombasa. See how beautiful it is. <laughs> so in Old Town, I'm here with Hawa. Hello guys, I'm Hawa from the African Food Trail. Welcome to Old Town Mombasa, locally known as Kibokoni. So today we are out here on a street food tour and we are about to uh, try out the different delicacies of Mombasa and we are at our first stop which is a really popular local coffee stop. I like to call it our local Starbucks. So <laughs> let's try some uh, what yeah, is it? local so, coffee. Yeah, we are going to try some local Arabic coffee uh, known as in Swahili Kahawa Tamu and Kahawa Chungu and then we'll also try their famous chai tea. It's like none of any teas you've had anywhere in Kenya. You'll be able to give us a review. <laughs> okay. You try it, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> So what we have here is the chai tea, this is the sweet coffee which is kahawa tamu and then this is the unsweetened coffee which is kahawa chungu and the beans that have been used to like brew this coffee is the Kenyan Arabica bean and uh, with the sweet version it's usually like heavily spiced with the ginger, cardamom, cinnamons and a little bit of cloves. Yeah, same with the, with the chai tea as well. Yeah. I can take a glimpse of the reaction. <laughs> oh. It's good! Yeah, I told you. The spices. <gasps> Cardamom, right? Yeah, Cardamom lots of curry. This is and, and not like Nairobi style. This yeah, I told you, this is it's not like Nairobi style. What is child. inside there, this, the spices? I think they usually put uh, it's milk tea. Mm. And then a black tea leaves, a little bit of like spices like cardamoms, a clove, and I think, I don't know, they never give away their recipe, but I, I suspect they also put a little bit of custard. Because of the richness, the richness that you have like inside, but I'm not so good. What do you mean trying? I'm, I'm finishing it. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah, so it's good. Yeah, So it's actually one of the most popular options that people drink here and uh, if you come late, like at, at least by 5.30 there won't be any, any left. Nice. Okay, what's next? <laughs> the sweet, and then you can have the sweet version with the samosas. The sweet one is this? Which yeah, one is the that's sweet? the sweet one. What is the difference? Uh, the, the unsweetened is darker and the other ones are lighter. This is a lighter one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these three are lighter, these are dark. Yeah. Okay. So, the sweet ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> definitely sweet. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sweet. That's coffee? Yeah. So, it's coffee but uh, like highly diluted. Like the coffee. Mm -hmm. Very light. Coffee. Yeah, very light. And it's also because uh, they drink it in the evening, so they don't want to like the caffeine content to be high. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like Arabs would drink coffee at any freaking time. It's like just like how Turkish drink their tea as a recreational But it's a bit spicy, thing. yeah. Yeah, it's very spicy. I mean, do you taste the ginger in there? Mm -hmm. You want a samosa? It's like the best thing when you have a sauce, and that samosa is like one of the best you'll have also. And if I am hungry, but I was telling my friend, I cannot eat. I'm going for a, a, <laughs> a food tour. Mm. It's delicious, yeah? Also, the spot is just amazing. Yeah. You have the breeze, you have the view. <laughs> Right. 
the chai was better for me personally. I liked it more. So the other one is? It's uh, the unsweetened coffee. The unsweetened, but it's the same coffee? Yeah, it's the same coffee, but the con the caffeine content is much higher in that one than it is in this one. So now this will go so well with the donuts. The sweet one? Yeah. Okay. The, the unsweetened Cheers. one. Cheers. <laughs> mm. I like this one. Yeah, it's called Mitai. Mitai. Yeah. So we usually but drink it. so sugar. <laughs> So, the, but the thing with it that they do, they don't put sugar inside, they just coat it on the outside. Mm. So the dough inside is not sweet at all. But like there's plenty of like caramelized okay. sugar on the, the top. It's perfect balance, I think. Yeah. Guys? I think this makes me move to Mombasa. Ah. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> So yeah, so this is uh, our next uh, stop. He's, he's literally doing the show. So this is like one of the most popular snacks that are eaten in Mombasa, especially in the evenings. So what she's making is like uh, a boiled potato that's dunked in like chickpea flour or gram flour and then fried and then next she has like these tiny snacks that almost look like falafel so they use the same bean as falafel and they add onions green pepper and yeah Farida <laughs> we're looking forward to seeing those reactions so what you're holding is the fried potato <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. let's start with this one what is so, this ball? So the ball is like it's called bajia and it's almost like a falafel so it's made out of chickpeas and the white stuff, the white stuff is uh, a coconut chutney, so made with like coconut, green peppers, and then the brown stuff is the tamarind sauce. Mm. Mm. I eat one. More. I'm so hungry, guys. This is so good. Dig in, dig in, dig in. <laughs> So guys, usually I'm not a fan of uji, like porridge style. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, it has a lot of spices like not spicy hot spicy but spices in terms like of yeah like taste you you can t you can smell the fragrances because uh, one of the main spices that they put is cardamom and like uh, cardamom is quite a fragrant spice I think so this is we call it ujiwangano which is like wheat porridge but uh, it's made with coconut milk wheat and then they do actually put wheat chunks i don't think you'll be able to see but uh, they actually do do put wheat chunks in it uh -huh. and yeah so and like lots of sugar so it's only also drunk in the evenings and not um, during the day so it's more or less because it's also light it's not a heavy uji i mean mm -hmm. if you drank like yeah. uji from Afghan yeah. chicken it's a very light uji so yeah <laughs> So I usually stop here because of uh, these snacks. So these snacks are like quite popular all over like uh, any coastal town along the coastal strip. So they are usually like sweets made out of coconut. So after people um, wring the coconut milk out of the coconut, the residue that's left is never thrown away. So they usually make these snacks. Uh, so it's like... Um, is how they look like and we call them kashatas have you heard this before mm -hmm. not the red ones okay so you'll try it and then you'll let us know what you <laughs> think okay. i eat the whole thing like this. just just like yeah oh it's coconut yeah <laughs> mm, i thought this is the 
the um, you see you also have the the red ones like from oh, the baobab. Ba yeah. yeah, that's what I thought, but no. Yeah, so of course they usually put the coloring to for it to look appealing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's like just coconut with mm. like sugar again, cardamom in it. Oh really? Yeah, and then you don't taste it. And then mm -hmm. like maybe it's because like the coconut flavor yeah, so is so strong, like more bounty. -ish. So exactly, mm -hmm. like literally. True, I'd tastes like a bounty. Now she got it. Chocolate, yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Hi, Auntie. Yeah, <Hi>. sugar. <laughs> So these are like the local sweets that are loved among, amongst uh, kids of Mombasa. So literally when I was growing up we never used to have the luxury of like expensive chocolates. So this used to be like our sweets or chocolate. So we literally grew up on these sweets. So on this top they also have like a variety of stuff. So some of the things that they have here are like samosas, badillas, can see maybe. And then, uh, so these are the bajiers I was telling you. So at this stop, I like really, really enjoy these bajiers because they are much more flavorful. They have a crunch to it, and they are well balanced and spiced. So they are telling me this food now is spicy. <laughs> and the way I don't like spices. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> okay. The bajia has bubu. Let's all. I think let's all eat it at the same time. No? Yes. Okay. This one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. I see, see what you say. <laughs> it's way more crunchy than the other one we had. Mm. And the flavor crunchy. in this, you taste the chickpea more. It actually does taste like a falafel. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's very crunchy. Nice. <laughs> So one for you, one for you. So literally these are the best mabuyus in Mombasa. Literally, hands down. So we'll try them and then later then you can tell me what you think. So tell us, what is it? So it's baobab seeds that are cooked like uh, in a sugar syrup, spiced with like cardamoms and then colored with like a red food color. They also add a little bit of some flavoring, but uh, they make it from the organic baobab seed which is usually white in color so it uh, it usually has a seed and you put it in your mouth and like suck on it and then throw away the seed <laughs> then it makes you your lipstick lipstick yeah. <laughs> okay natural lipstick but in the mouth not in the no. in the oh, yeah. i mean in the lips <laughs> in the lip in, in the in the tongue mm. hello hey what do you think? Is it like um, it's a little bit similar to what you had? <laughs> no, it's very sweet. Wait, let me let me show you. That, that you can throw it. Look at mine. Mm. Like mine is. Hello, Penambayaku. <laughs> Don't still have some baobab on it, so you really need to like suck it, more. Yeah. Yeah, you suck it. Out. <laughs> you want to suck it out, guys? <laughs> so this is the typical sweet for kids here. And me. So what do you guys have? So here we have uh, the famous sugarcane juice. So they use fresh canes of sugarcane and then they squeeze it in this um, machine uh, with a piece of lime and ginger. And then here we have uh, bungo juice. So this is a juice uh, that comes from the rubber tree. So the rubber tree usually, usually produces this tiny yellow fruit. So they pick the seed uh, of the fruit and then they make a juice out of it. So yeah, taste and, and tell us what you taste. Yes. Oh, contrary to.
to what we usually have in Kenya. It's not that sweet. <laughs> it's not so, so sweet. It's nice. It's not sweet at all, actually. And most people like it for that, for solemnly that fact. Actually, like most Kenyan juices that uh, come from trees that are indigenous to the coastal area are never sweet, aka tamarind juice. And bungo is another like um, good example. So they are never like naturally sweet juices. They just put added sugar in it. But this one, like it can make you run out of like the whole sugar you have in your house. Like it takes so much sugar for you to like naturally sweeten. So this actually has sugar inside, but you could yeah. But you can't yeah you like, can't. Yeah, and it it's actually like one of my favorite juices as well. Okay, so right now we are out here at the Mamangina Drive, locally known as the Lighthouse. So it's one of the most popular places to come to in Mombasa. It's well, pretty much loved by the local people. So people come here to enjoy fresh coconut water, cassava chips, uh, made like corn on the cob, roasted corn, and uh, fried cassava. Uh, grilled sweet potatoes so so many snacks varieties to eat heart of the palm which is one thing that um, I guarantee you should definitely try before you leave so yeah here we're going to try cold from the fridge coconut water and it's the best thing especially on a hot afternoon thank you welcome It's so refreshing, it's so cold and mm. sweet, yes. Mm. So the port of Mombasa is at the end of this channel and usually it's also like a nice thing to like sit here and watch the big ships come in and it's usually quite a spectacle. I mean it's one of my favorite things to do. Just sit and watch all these huge container ships and the best thing is like when cruise ships also come into port like pre-covid we used to have cruise ships and it used to be like quite a spectacle people on the ships waving people on shore waving more food <laughs> i mean you can already see there's a ship out at sea <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. This is all halal, right? Of <laughs> course. Muslim friends. It's halal. Lucky us. Mm. Top three, number one is uh, binagil, so uh -huh. that's like uh, typical Swahili food. And then number two, one of my favorite one is called Aldiwan restaurant. So it's right here in town, close to the central business district, and it has like Arabic inspired foods, like uh, Yemeni, a little bit of like Omani. And then my third favorite is called Shami Bahar, and it has like a really nice ocean front view, and it has like barbecue style foods, like. Indian inspired but of course they use like typical Swahili spices so yeah those are my top three restaurants in Mombasa so I will link for you guys all the names below in the description because also myself I couldn't follow and remember all that names <laughs> okay so that's cool I definitely have to check out more of these restaurants and also go and try them myself but you as a foodie of course we trust your recommendation and also she's a available like for everyone who wants to do the street tour like the one we did today we did it in a, a bit shortened version um, but also what is super interesting because i know a lot of you guys asked me already like is there anywhere i can do cooking classes like can i learn also get like special recipes or go and just try to cook and you guys are lucky because she's doing that as well yes. <laughs> and as you know i love supporting females and the fact uh, also that she's Muslim on top. I, I just love it because I think yeah, 
Lumen B, they have to stick together. So Women empowerment. Yes. <laughs> and, and also, it's not only because I'm female, but when you come and join our cooking classes, you're guaranteed to have so much fun, to learn a lot. We go out into the market, buy our own fresh ingredients. So you get to have the authentic market experience. And then we get back home and we cook a three course meal. So you choose a starter, you choose a main course, and then we finish off with our authentic Swahili dessert, which is uh, Arabic inspired coffee with some snacks that go with the coffee. So yeah, you'll guarantee of a good time, amazing food, <laughs> and yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do that. And you guys know, like, if you want to do that, just comment below, cooking class, or if it's the food, the street tour, just comment that below. And also, you know where to get me on my social media. And also, most of you guys know that I am your tour planner if you want to travel to Kenya. And of course, I can connect you with her. And also, she's as well a local guide for Mombasa. If you need anything around Mombasa, she's your girl. Yes, and, uh... Uh, they can also visit my Instagram page at the African Food Trail if you want to have like an idea of what we do, like uh, pictures of uh, clients who've come on the street food tours and who've done the cooking classes as well. So karibu sana and uh, looking forward to seeing you in Mombasa. Thank you! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs>